Oh hello beautiful people from the internet and Linux fans. As you may know, the latest and the greatest from Plasma 6 is out, finally. So the waiting is over and today I'm gonna take a really quick look at what's new. But I'm not using the KD Neon. I have decided to install the pre-release version of Fedora 40 with the KDE. So let's get to it. Okay, the current version of the Fedora desktop is 39. So I'm using 40, which is not even in beta yet, as far as I know. So let me show you where you can find the pre-release version. And if you want to Download it, install it and check it out for yourself. So just navigate to the bottom, almost to the bottom. See where the Fedora out downloads, go to the Learn More. And there is a testing images. What I'm using is the nightly builds right here. I will make sure I leave this page in the description down below so you don't have to navigate all the way right here let me see it should be somewhere on the bottom and right here as you can see this is the KDE wife now just choose your architecture for 64 bit this is the one you want and the last known good this is the one I am using in this video just click here and the download should start as you can see, but like you see, I have already done that. I'm not gonna do it. Let's get to the installation. Okay, so the install, it's not changed. Well, it's not changed now. It was supposed to be the newer version of the Anaconda that we all know. But for now, at least in this pre-release here, the nightly build that I'm using, the installation it's the same and now the option to install to hard drive it's available in the welcome screen you've seen this welcome screen before I'm not gonna go too deep into that you can do that yourself like I said the installation it's the same as before nothing changed nothing yet it's well the anaconda installer it's supposed to get a facelift or something ui improvements because it haven't been changed for a longest time but why change something that works i know what are people complaining about it but i'm not one of them so you choose your language see this Release testing. This is a warning that you're gonna get. Yes, here, of course, this is usual with beta versions and pre release softwares. They warn you that this is not a released software yet. Yes, I want to proceed. Select your destination, create your user account. This is all usual stuff. You've seen that before. Okay, when the installation is done, what I have done, well, this is the usual stuff. Update the system, restart it. So I went with my bash script that I have created a while back. I have removed everything that I'm not going to use. I have installed everything that I will use. If this was my production machine, restart once again. So this is the script. You, If you follow my channel, you should know where you can find this if it's not. And if you want to try it, take a look at it 
and if you are interested I will leave this in the description as well okay one little quick mention this is new with the KD Plasma 6 version now and with the Fedora of course there is no option for XORG during the login you have only Wayland session which is kinda okay with me this will finally start making people willingly or not to start using Wayland of course you have the option to install it but that's stopping for another video okay let's take a quick look at the kernel version this is one of the latest if not even latest 6.8 this is the release candidate but I'm pretty sure yesterday or the day before this is already an official version of the Linux kernel and it's going to start shipping with the bleeding edge like Arch Linux let's check out another thing that is really interesting to me this is the DNF version and as you can see we are still on the 4.19 and as they promised the next version well the one i'm using right now it should be ready and it should be shipped by default what's so significant with the dnf5 well it has a lot of improvements it's going to be faster downloads and many more you can read in the blog of the fedora guys but still in the pre-release that I'm using here, it's still 419. You can of course install the DNF 5 yourself and try it before the release. Let's check a little quick the info center. As you can see, this is a Fedora 40 with the KD Plasma version 6.0.1, KD Framework 6, and Qt version 6.6.2 and Wayland Session. <laughs> Another big change in the latest Plasma 6 release is of course now we have a floating panel as you can see this is the default. Now there is some complete redesign of the settings when you right click and go to the enter mode. As you can see it looks so much different than before but if you ask me this is so much user friendly and better to understand now when you click to the position you can change of course the position of your panel i like it my i like mine to be on the top you have the alignment left center right you have the width i really like the fit content at the moment it's this little bar it's really cute i really like it but anyway you can go with the visibility if you want you can make it out height or always visible i will go with the always visible you can check all the options and the style it's where you can change the floating to a regular bar if you're not a big fan of the floating because i know some because i know some of you are not really huge fan of the floating panel but i am so here you can change it back to the default of the 5.27 another change that has been requested now for a while is of course the single click and opening for example when you single when you single click the folder it's automatically opening this folder now we are back to the double click most of the linux distro that shipped with kde they switch the default to the double click the complaint is it's not really user friendly for most of the people coming from other desktop environments or even from windows they are not used to the single click but that's not a big issue for me well of course now this has been addressed now you need a double click you can of course <laughs> go to the settings and go back to the single click that's not a big deal another big change is 
the redesign of the settings menu of the KD Plasma. There was a, how to say, a small issue. A lot of people were complaining about how many, <laughs> how many options, settings options you have in the KD Plasma. Well, this is not really an issue, if I may say that. I would use something different. This is really distracting. <laughs> When you start playing with the settings menu, you lose a lot of time or a lot of productivity time. But now this is being addressed. Now you have a different categories for all the settings. You can go over that. Plus there is some better animations if you are up to that. Another interesting change in these releases, they did a lot of bug fixing to the Discover Software Center. They have added some improvements. For example, when you open an application that you want to install, now you have a picture preview of what is about this app. You have some short explanation and you have average review of the application that you are interested in installing. They have changed the installed button. Another, <laughs> another change is of course they have been adding sound when you enter USB in the USB port. For example, let's see that. You hear that sounds coming in and coming out. It just shows attention to detail which is really important to the project and for the user. Other than that, for example, I have some small minor issues or bugs. I'm not sure about that. But when you go to the appearance, more appearance settings, I have start installing some teams. I'll show you. Right now, not all teams are available in the Plasma 6. Of course, only those that are converted to Qt 6, I presume. Slowly but surely, everything will be available shortly. Just be patient. But for example, I have discovered a couple of bugs. Let's see if I want to install this team. Just click install. And as you can see, nothing happens. But don't worry, this team, it's installing on the background. As you can see, it's now installed. This is minor stuff that I'm sure will be fixed. Another thing, there is two copies of the same team. I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, they are the same thing. When you try to install it, just apply it. And there you go. Another small, small thing that I have noticed and when I change the icon teams, for example, I want to go back to the Fluent team. It's not changing all the time. When I go, when I go over the bar, then the icons change. Not all of them are changing right away, but this is again a small issue that I'm sure will be fixed pretty soon. Another thing that I have noticed, for example, when I tried to install the Steam and Waters for my gaming, they were not installed after the script installed. So I start checking what's wrong. Maybe the script needs to be changed and fixed. But at the end, it turns out, for example, let's check Steam. There is no steam in the dnf and fedora repository only flat pack so i have start working in the console with sudo dnf install steam it usually that what i do this time 
no success. So as you can see, there is a package problems. Package steam from RPM Fusion non free requires whatever package, but none of the provider can be installed. There is some conflicts. I have not played too much. You can of course go with the dash dash allow racing or even skip broken. I might have to try that a little bit later, but I am okay with the Steam version from Flatpak. So I have been using this pre-release of Fedora 40. There is not much problems. Well, other than a few minor Plasma 6 crashes. The only thing that is really interesting is when I try to start the Guild Wars 2 game every time when the launcher tries to start and my computer freezes. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. I have tried the Ultras version, I have tried the Steam version and it's all the same. I'm not sure. Maybe this will fix. Maybe this is something to do with the new version of Qt, maybe it's something with the Wayland, I'm not sure, but these so far are the only problems I have been experiencing with this pre-release of Fedora. Other than that, it's a great release, well, not really release, I do not really recommend it for production machines, this is my test drive. I still have my open SUSE Tumbleweed on the other drive. I just testing this out and testing the Plasma 6. So let me know guys what you think about this release, how you like the changes. I know there is so many more changes that I have not mentioned in this video. I will make sure I leave an article you can read all about the changes. I just mentioned the ones that I am interested in right now. So please do let me know what you think about the release, how you like it, how you don't like it, how you like the Wayland session only. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!